I'm back here with a uh, look at Hedera. All right, you can see here we have uh, this thing's been beat down pretty decent here. Uh, we were up at a high with a 57 cents. That was back September 2021. All right, that's been a while ago. All right, this thing is rode this bottom down here consolidation. We finally pushed up, made a higher high here. All right, ended up uh, right down in here. Let's break this down. All right, you can see five waves up right here. One, two, three, four, and five. All right, then you had an ABC correction. An ABC should mark a bottom, and you should start back to the upside, right? Now, the question is, is this ABC done? All right, first off, let's get this trend line off here. All right, so we can see what's going on in here. Okay, now if we try to measure this out, there's one of two things. A, an ABC either comes up to a 618 or a 702 Fibonacci uh, retracement area. Okay, either right up into the 702 or the 618. So it's one or the other. All right, if it's the 702, you bring your A wave down on top of your B, which gives you a C wave target. Okay, bring that down on top. There you go. All right, that would say that the ABC is done. All right, now on the flip side, if we put this at the 618, I think it's done, quite honestly. I, I do. All right, put this on the 618, pull it down, then it would say that it had a little bit further to go. Um, I think it's done. I'm going to show you why right here. Let's, uh, let's zoom in a little bit closer here. All right, and that would have been your ABC correction here. Now, if we zoom in down here, this is out on a weekly, okay? When this came down here and hit this low, we had this high, we had a higher low, just barely. We had a higher high, and so far we've had a higher low in here, okay, on a weekly. Um, now, I wanna zoom in on this area here. Let's go in on a daily, first of all, okay? see where we would be for a retracement all right now you can see these highs and lows better right you definitely want to see a higher low come in here uh, that looks like a wave one two right there don't it one two three four five let's take a look here with a fib and see where we're at let's go from our low up over here we are right at the 702 okay which is a that's where you want to see right 702 618 702 anywhere down in this box here is where you want to see a bounce from now if we zoom in on this just a little bit tighter let's go in on a four hour because we have a move happening on the inside in here okay you can right through here so we have a one two three four five waves down here all right now the question is is this fifth wave done Right, right in here, you got one, two, three, four, and five. All right, now, the way we measure this, take a fib, go from the, the low of wave three to top of wave four, gives us our fifth wave target, which would be down at um, almost five cents on a dot. All right, now, how would we have a clue that this might be over? Well, if you come in on an hourly, see how these, then you can see waves inside of waves, right? Um, now, yeah, let's go with that hourly. It's a little bit better. All right, if we take a measurement in here, and here you also have one, two, three, four, five waves down in here. So if we take a measurement of this, right about there. Stick with me, guys, please. I don't think this is a bunch of BS because uh, you'll see here. All right, this should be up just a hair more, right? Right about there. Our low needs to come down. These, this needs to be lined up just a little. There we go. Okay, so you can see that low should be coming in right around 50, 0 0.05 cents, just about on the head. Then you'd have one, two, three, four, five. So it has, it looks like it has just a hair down to go here. Not very much at all, but just 
just a bit down to this point zero five zero um, and you should have a low there right okay so that would be right here let's mark that and let's go back out on a 12 hour All right so you can see that it, it might have a little bit further down to pull back yet okay then that would give us our five waves down All right now are the RSI's telling us anything and if you want to learn how to do this stuff guys sign up for a level 3 membership we have over 200 members in there uh, you get over 10 hours of videos <clears throat> teach how to start charting like this you get a link to the discord to come trade with us we're in a Casper and a Casper long uh, today uh, it's $14.99 for all the videos and the link to the discord so uh, come over and join us we'd love to have you man made uh, had some members make some really nice money on a Pepe trade I'm talking 13x, you know, 12, 13x in, uh, trade. Um, had a guy post yesterday, plus 1,270 percent, almost 13x this money on a Pepe trade that we got into. So we get in some decent ones. We have our losses, like anybody else. You don't win them all. That's not how it goes, okay? But uh, as long as you can get good entries, uh, you can minimize your losses. You know what I mean when. Uh, when uh, the ones do fall out on you but we'd love to have you all right that that's the point and help support the channel all right so we have the 12 hour rsi just about reset the eight hour is reset uh eight and a seven it's bullish uh the four hour uh 10 and an 18 has a little bit to come down yet you can see uh we do have a little bit more possibly to come down yet <clears throat> and it's no guarantee guys i'm not telling you sell your house this thing's going to stop on point zero five zero who knows it might go through to zero you, you know you never know you look at the charts you use your tools that you have and uh and give it your best shot here but this thing's getting really oversold um i just about got some bullish divergence there almost the one hour probably do have it yeah we do you have this low on the RSI and, and a higher low over here. And on price, you have this low and a lower. There, it's starting to make its move now down uh, down to this area here. The one hour has turned up here. Um, but, I, you know, who knows? It could stop here. There, it's pushing a little bit more. Uh, the 15 probably has to correct here or something. Yeah, the 15 is at the top here. So, be looking for that last push down here, down to this zone. Uh, then, we, then this thing should be bouncing towards the upside. All right, now some targets for uh, if we do get the bounce, all right, if it comes down here um, and, and this thing starts to head to the upside, uh, some targets to watch out for here, you know, because we are making, uh, starting to make higher highs and higher lows here. All right, we're getting uh, higher pushes on this thing. A big sign would be breaking through uh, this, this right up here, this .064. Uh, that's that's a uh, that would be a big area to, to, to break out of here. Okay, I'm gonna leave this on here for the next video. I'm gonna leave it right there. Okay, so we can uh, pay attention and see what happens here. Now, if you put a fib on here, say our low does come in there. Okay, these first targets to be watching out for as long as we start back to the upside. Okay, like we should, all right? We have this high or this low, this high, higher low, higher high, higher low. You know, you want to see by the time this is done, a higher high come in here, all right? So this first area that we're going to be targeting, as long as, like I said, as long as it heads to the upside, like all the signs are pointing like it should, okay? It would be right up in here at 0 0.058 to 0 0.059. And uh, then once we would get through that area, if we take out this 6.4, this 0 0.072 uh, would be the target up here for the uh, for your next higher high that we're going to be looking for. Okay, right up into this box. All right, that's where we should uh, be looking for the next the next high. Okay, so we have this high, this low, a higher high, a higher low. And we should get a higher high and a higher low come out of this. All right, so we'll keep an eye on Hedera here. H-bar, definitely want to see this thing start going here pretty soon. All right, a big, uh, let's take a look here on the weekly. Wow, it's just really beat down. It really is. And you can see this 
trend start down here. You got a trend line start down here on this weekly too. Right here. That's another thing it should be grabbing here. It's this trend line here. You know, it should be should hit that and bounce right off of that area. So maybe we don't go the whole way down there, that .05, or you, we get a wick through there and it holds and, and starts. But uh, you can see a trend line starting right, right here also on this uh, weekly here. Trying to get, in, get it in there the best I can. It's hard on it. Let's go on a day. Let's try it on daily. See, it's hard to get it perfect there. Probably get a wick through here. You know, wick through and then it will pull back up. All right, so keep your eye on H, you know, there are hash graph. It's, it's looking pretty decent here, along with the rest of the market, really. Um, you know, Bitcoin, it looks like it should be turning back up here pretty soon, so that's going to help everything out. So pay attention to what's going on out there, guys. Should have a alt season coming very, very soon also. You know, if everything goes right and Bitcoin dominance rolls over, uh, should see these altcoins start to go. All right, so have a great day, everybody. I'll talk to you soon. Please hit that like and subscribe.